When Leonardo da Vinci painted his version of the Last Supper, he famously chose to depict the moment where Christ told his disciples that one of them would betray him. The original painting was displayed in the mess hall of a convent where monks would eat food, and it was there to daily remind them it was possible for one of Christ's disciples to betray him. It was meant to be a sobering reminder that we also have that potential and should watch over our lives and our hearts in such a way as to allow Christ to root out all the unfaithful parts of us. Da Vinci's Last Supper drove those monks to great introspective prayer. The point here is God can use visual displays to bring us to the place of prayer. There were various prophets of the Old Testament who reported on seeing visions of God, or they had the word of the Lord come to them, and they would describe that word as something that they saw, not merely heard. And you can see 1 Kings 22, 19, or Jeremiah 1, 11, or Ezekiel 1, 3 through 4, or Isaiah 2, 1, for just a few examples of that. Sometimes God communicates to us his heart through our sight. All that said, be encouraged, especially those of you who are more artistic, that you can legitimately pray and be moved to prayer by spending time with great art and learning to appreciate it. Art moves the heart. God can speak through it, even secular art, as the Apostle Paul proved through the poets he quoted in Acts chapter 17. If you want to try this on your own, which we highly recommend, put yourself in a situation where you are going to encounter some good art and ask God to speak to you through it. It's a call to prayer. And it's one of the reasons why we have art up at the Chattanooga House of Prayer. When you find your heart moved or stirred, don't let the moment pass you by. Pray about it, interact with what you find stirring in your heart, and you'll often gain new insights for living more fully, just as Jesus has called us to.